How did you get on my laptop? Oh, right, sorry. Ah, oh, yes, you came for the tutorial. All right, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, I apologize. Um, so, hi, I'm Taikendo, and I'll be doing a series of video tutorials on how to use Toon Boom Harmony 7.8. It's labeled stage, not sure why, but let's begin. So first of all, we open up our software and we have one nice little view here. Tells you what it's about. It's a network animation solution. Actually, Harmony is a way where a whole bunch of production people or animators can come together and, you know, create body parts and create drawings and such and save them in the library and be able to reuse them and use them as much as they want. So uh, here you have the username Taikenzo and I'm not connected to a database. I'm working on my own laptop. So I'm working offline and I'm going to use OK. So first of all, we're going to create a new scene, right? And in every new scene, you need to create a project directory where you want to save your project as well as to create the name of the project. It's really cool because when you label the name, the folder is saved as the project name and it has all the information about that one software. Well, that one file. So I'm just going to start with 001 start off. Sounds like my wife just got in. Of course, now you have your resolutions you can choose from, right? So first of all, I'm just going to show you that I made my own which is font size, press plus, and you name it, you give it a width, you give it a height, and you give it a frame rate. And the frame rate has to do with how much frames go by per second. Hence, you have FPS over here, which it means frames per second. So let's begin, shall we? Creating now. So this is a software. Oh, McAfee, go away. And of course, you know, you have a nice workspace area here. You know what? I'm just going to label it for you. Just mind, don't mind me. Just going to label it for you, you know. Over here you have your tools. Oh no. Never mind that. I'll just tell him to you. So over here you have your tools, right? So you have a whole bunch of stuff here you can use. You can have selection, control editing, brush, pencil, all the whole works of basic drawing tools. But of course, in this one, each one some of them have drop downs which give you more options to different tools. And when using Toon Boom Harmony, all your basic drawings are done using vector. So it's not like Photoshop where you use bitmap, but it's rather vector where you have seamless graphics. So over here you have your file buttons grouped together, logically grouped together, which is good. Over here you have your your editing, such as copy, paste, and cut, and your undo and redo. If you playback functions over here, and over here you have your advanced animation tools. Some of you, when you open up yours, you might not have it up there. If you want to bring up one of those advanced ones, what you have to do is right click in the gray area, and it will bring up a whole bunch of these. So you'll have to know which one of these is best for you to do certain things, right? My two holes. You see what happened there? So that's how it works. Uh, this is your work area. These are other tabs here. Each tab has a different view. So each one has its own specific function, either something you can see or something that you can add to a network or just something having to do with your drawings. 
down here we have our timeline along with our layers right now we only have one layer which is by default you know one drawing layer and you notice over here i have a little network thing here from a network view which coincides with your layers so what happens there is that anything happening over here will somewhat affect over here and vice versa so for example let me just start by drawing a nice little character my favorite one because I, I made him well this is a crude drawing of it so yeah no it's not grr So you have a character here, right? And I'm going to use my bucket tool and paint him in. I can come to my color tab, which brings up my colors. It's a palette, actually. It's not like in 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 Flash where you can just click and choose, but it gives you a select amount of colors. You don't have to use up everything at one time. So that's me filling in my drawing. And yeah. So you notice how I have this drawing here in my layer. I go back to the network view, and you notice it's attached to a composite. Composite is really important because anything that's attached to the composite as well as the display here, you see, like this display over here, will be seen in this camera view or perspective view also. So if I detach drawing here, it disappears. If I reattach it, it disappears. That's one simple thing you can note for now. We'll go into more detail in another video. Um, So over here we have the tool properties right and each tool has its own properties some of them have similar tools so for example this select tool here you have different ways you can use the selection you have different options of using it and you have different operations as well as your you know transformation translation rotation type stuff so you can look at that if you want to and Oh, let's not forget how to bring up more tabs. If you want to bring up more tabs, you click on this little arrow here. If you want to remove a tab, you just click on this one. Whatever is currently selected, say for example my module library here, I can click on this X and it goes away. If I want to add a new one, I just bring them up back. Right? And that's the startup. Hope you'll enjoy the rest. Take care, God bless, and Isaiah 55 is a really, really good read. Take care.